All right, guys, so we're back on the Hellstang project this weekend, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm hoping to get accomplished. We'll see what really happens, but a lot of kind of random stuff, just some small stuff. For example, we've got some studs that we're going to put on for the intake manifold for the Holly High Ram. Uh, with all the stuff that I ended up buying, my, my whole little setup, it came with some studs, but I was missing like four. So I ended up having to buy a whole set, so I bought like a Speedmaster um, set. So I'm going to get these installed. We're going to put in some thread sealant because uh, some of these, they go down into this uh, lifter valley. So I don't want any kind of oil coming out. So we're going to get that done. Um, I've also got to get some of the front end brackets onto the uh, motor. I just want to check to make sure that we have clearance and everything with the alternator on. Um, I won't be able to check with the power steering pump, you know, without the, without the side of the car, but we could also put the AC on and uh, just get that mocked up. Let's just make sure that that all kind of clears the uh, turbo piping and everything. And then once that's kind of done, then the next thing is I need to get the Mustang moved over. And then I've got to finish getting the wire harness out of the car, the stock computer, uh, that section of wire that goes from the firewall to inside the car to the computer, because I've got to send that out to MF Customs. They're going to modify all the harnesses for me. Um, so I just have kind of the uh, stock gauges still working, you know, the AC still working, all that kind of stuff. Lots of stuff happening. Uh, super stoked. going to be a fun weekend, so stay tuned. All right, so for these studs, uh, like I was telling you guys, I've just got some more of this high temp thread sealant. This is the same thread sealant we used on the bottom cylinder head bolts that went into the water jacket. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if this is even needed, but uh, these inner bolts here, they do go straight down, you know, right through the head, right into the lifter valley. So, you know, I just didn't want to have any kind of oil and stuff, you know, leaking out. It probably wouldn't even happen, but anyway, I just bought it. This was like whatever, six bucks. So I'm just going to go ahead, put the thread sealing on, get these all seated in. And then that way we're good to go for later on once we put the manifold on. Uh, but that Holly High Ram, I'm not, I'm planning on not installing that until we get the motor dropped in. So once we get dropped in, then we can sit this thing on, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So anyway, easy peasy. Let's start getting these things going. And I do like these too, because they've got the Allen head bolt on the top. So you can thread them down. Um, Part of the studs that I had that came with kind of my whole engine setup I bought, I think they're ARP studs, um, but those don't even have a hex on top. So you just have to kind of thread them in by hand. So at least these make it a little bit nicer. You can get them fully seated, you know, down into the head. So, so go ahead, just stick a little bit of thread sealant on each of these dudes. That's probably more than enough, right? And then just start getting them seated in. All right, and so just like we did when we tightened down the uh, studs for the head studs, I'm just going to take my little ratchet and my little, uh, I think this is like an eighth inch um, hex, and all I'm doing is just, just making sure they're fully seated, that's all. So not really putting, you know, much torque on it. Ugh, these things are really tight as far as uh, the metric was very loose, and then the eighth inch is really hard to get in, but that's a little bit easier. But see how this one's still got a little bit of a turn, so... It's just good. Just make sure these guys are all, you know, seated down. Not going to work their way loose. It's not like we have a whole lot of torque uh, that's going to go on to the intake manifold anyway, but just to make sure they're all good, all happy. All right, let's see. <clears throat> this will go on now. Our valve covers are in the way. <laughs> that one's good. All right, dude, looks perfect. Yeah, once the, uh, they got washers and nuts that go on here, so uh, that'll be perfect. <sighs> kind of thinking, I probably don't even want to put the fuel injectors in um, until I get the motor kind of dropped in until we put this on, just because I'm thinking, It'll be way easier without fuel injectors and stuff in the way here, you know, to probably be able to uh, tighten all these bolts down and all that stuff. And like, this should be pretty easy to get to in the car, right? So I'm not super worried about that. 
So cool. Well, that's good. Let's try to uh, get the brackets. I'm going to get those mounted up next. We'll have a look at those. All right, so I went ahead, we got both of our brackets mounted and I uh, kind of reclocked the turbo. This is kind of something like how I'm gonna want it because again, I'm not using an intercooler with this setup. We're just gonna have this baby go right into the throttle body, which in and of itself will be interesting because we're gonna have to kind of move out, move back in. But we have to see now if uh, this is gonna clear with the alternator, you know, or how we're gonna have to make this all work. And then I need to get the power steering pump I think it's fine. It's going to live here, be no problem. Uh, but I do need to get the AC bolted on. Uh, I got that right here, the compressor. And we'll kind of see how this is all looking, if this is all going to live right. If everything looks good, then I'll get these brackets back off. We can get those off the powder coat. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So we've got all the stuff just kind of bolted down, you know, just to mock it up. So the turbo uh, turbocharger uh, looks like that's going to be fine. We can still angle this up a bit more if we need to, um, but it's got enough clearance. You know, we can figure something out, and especially if it's a little bit higher, right? Figure out how to get it going. Or I was just telling my pops, maybe like this gets chopped off and then a 45 elbow gets welded onto the housing and that, that kind of brings it out. And then we are able to more easily bring it in. So this part, not super worried about, looks really good. This stuff over here, holy cow, is it tight, right? So check this out. So we got this all mocked up. Now this tab here is like literally touching, um, but it's not interfering. It's fully bolted down. So uh, I'm just going to take the angle grinder. We'll kind of grind this just to give it some clearance. But I mean, look at this, like eighth of an inch clearance. This is super duper tight. Again, like, you know, maybe a little more quarter inch clearance. So this is, you know, an on three turbo setup specifically for the 94 to 95 that retains the AC. This is a Fox body on three turbo setup. And so you can kind of see like this one, uh, angles outward a little bit more. So I think, I think this definitely would not work uh, to keep the AC, right? And then you can also see where this first pipe, sort of they got it angled back a little bit to be able to clear this. So it looks like it's gonna work, but my kind of plan, because I'm really worried that longevity wise, right? This AC is gonna freaking die, literally like touching the manifold. So I'm probably gonna send these off, get these things jet hot coated, help with a little bit of temperature. And then we'll probably get some of the um, heat shielding. Like I think they have like a DEI heat shielding that's like moldable, comes in like big sheets and it's like aluminum and it's moldable. And then we can kind of mold that over top of this whole header. And hopefully that'll help also reduce uh, a little bit of temperature on this one. But otherwise on this side, you know, this one's fine. Doesn't look like there's any other issues until we get it in the car and find out all the problems. But look how sick it's going to be. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we also just were playing around. We just want to kind of make sure all these pulleys, because I bought these uh, this pulley kit secondhand. I think it's like an old March pulley kit. But anyway, we got the water pump, crank, all that stuff looks good. It all looks lined up. This is our pulley for the alternator, but I'm not going to worry about doing that at this time because this alternator needs to get cleaned up and probably painted. I'm wondering, too, maybe I could even take it apart and just have these powder coated at the same time, too, you know? Could even get it silver. I don't know. So we got to figure that out. But um, otherwise, I think we're pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with the mock-up for all this. So I'll probably take all this off because uh, we're not going to need it when we put it on. And then I need to get the headers sent out. I am going to get these uh, coated. And we got to get the brackets coated, all that stuff. So we'll blow this all apart. And then it's time to start on the car. I wanted to show you guys, too. The other day, I picked up a set of LS7 coils. 
uh, from a dude locally. So I got the whole set of coils with the bracket, with the harness, 60 bucks. And these things are literally brand new. Never been used. Dude said he, he put one section on to fire it up because he thought he had some issue and tried it out for maybe 10 minutes of runtime. That's it. So brand new. So those are cool. So we're gonna have to figure out how to bolt those up eventually. <sighs> Probably gonna have to get different brackets because the factory, oh, hold on a sec. Factory, uh, the factory GM brackets with my little, you know, breather tube thing right there, they kind of stick far out. So yeah definitely way far out. So I just got to see if we can get some brackets that, uh, you know, put these things closer together and then they should all fit nice and beautifully and look all cool and all that stuff. So pretty stoked about that, but that's something we'll work on a couple weekends from now.